Hello everyone and welcome back to Prestige Reef. Today we're going to be taking a slightly more in-depth look at Red Sea's Reef Foundation program to explain exactly what it is. As you know by now, the Red Sea Reef recipes are designed to show you the ideal numbers to keep each of your key parameters, based on what type of tank you want to keep. These parameters are slightly elevated compared to natural seawater levels, however they've been calculated to ensure they're still balanced. One of the biggest benefits from this is that it allows a buffer so that your corals don't become stressed by making it less likely that these parameters will drop below the levels of natural seawater. Their foundation program is part of their recipe program where they've created a complete range of highly concentrated supplements and test kits. These you can use to both test and make adjustments to your parameters. The reason I specifically mention concentrated is because I've been informed that they're as concentrated as you can get. Therefore, in theory, means you need less of them, which in turn can save you money compared to less concentrated products. This program focuses on some of the most important things to reefers, which include both advanced coral growth and better coloration. Now that we're a couple of months in, I've started to notice significant changes with regards to my tank's water chemistry, where the corals are rapidly depleting certain elements. There are five main elements which Red Sea refers to as their foundation elements. These are utilised by the corals when producing new skeleton, hence the name foundation. These are calcium, magnesium and carbonate, as well as the less talked about trace elements, strontium and barium. In the wild, corals have a virtually unlimited supply of these elements, whereas in our glass boxes, some of them will drop much faster than others. This can be an issue because if the corals aren't provided with the optimum balance ratio of these elements, their growth will be stunted and the skeleton that they produce will be defective and very brittle. Think about it this way, if you mix cement using the incorrect ratio of ingredients, the cement won't be as strong. The same applies to the coral skeleton. It also works the other way around, where higher amounts of these elements, providing they are balanced, can lead to accelerated growth, as the corals need to use less energy absorbing them from the water, as they're in such abundance. Now, although I've mentioned five elements, I'm currently only using Red Sea's Foundation KH, Foundation Magnesium, and Foundation Calcium Plus. The reason for this is because the calcium supplement also contains strontium and barium. There appears to be a fixed ratio between the amount of strontium and barium utilised by the corals which is directly linked to the calcium intake. Therefore, in theory, by using this supplement which is already mixed at the correct ratios, it means that if your calcium is reading at the correct levels, your strontium and barium should also be correct as well. It's very important that you test your parameters weekly, especially alkalinity, as stable alkalinity is one of the key factors to keeping corals healthy and happy. I hope you enjoy watching my video, please feel free to comment below if you have any questions. If you did enjoy it, why not click that like and subscribe button. Have a good week and I'll see you next time.